Good morning, everyone. Day for the week. Hours here. Back with some more Crossroads in here in the Mulligan in Sandbox mode. And let's address something that came up as usual in the comments section. Best comment section I have had for any series in terms of being helpful with good advice and tips and thoughts and all that kind of stuff is our menu. Our menu items and what we've got on the menu. Somebody had come up and said, hey, you really need to go get more recipes because you don't have any Anything that's appealing to your patrons and my thought was well we only have two kinds of patrons so how much can they possibly need to be appealed to but the commenter correctly pointed out that we don't have anything that appeals to the outlaws and they do come in here most of our demographic is the distressed no doubt the peasants the rabble the peons the great unwashed that is our prime demographic right now but we did unlock the outlaws and they do come in here sporadically and occasionally I want wanted to see, hold on a sec, Crossroads in, I want to see if we actually have anything that appeals to them. So we've got garlic bread, which actually appeals to the travelers, which is nobody that's coming in here. We've got it, but nobody wants it, really. Bread soup, that's the distressed fried eggs, distressed stuffed eggs. Not even sure who that is. I think it's the nobles. I don't think we're getting them for a long time. Uh, apple juice, we're out of. Really, we're out of apples. Oh, dear. Well, the distressed really like the apple juice, so we should probably get that rocking and rolling. Ah, the, the outlaws like moonshine, which is good. We, we do have that. That's great. But in terms of food, no, we don't really have anything at all that appeals to the outlaws. What could we theoretically put on the menu? Sausage, that's a lot of S's in one word. Sausage soup. Nope, that's the travelers. Roasted nuts, travelers. Onion soup, distressed. Porridge, distressed. Right on. So we don't actually have anything that's going to appeal to the outlaws. Let's go see if we can find something. And at the same time, apparently I need apples. Now, before I do that, no, okay. I wanted to make sure I didn't accidentally order apples and then I go order more apples. Same scenario that we had with the candle situation where I've got a bazillion candles that I didn't actually need at the time. Right, out into the world map. Oh, Stig, I might have a job for you. Yeah, not so much really. I've gone all around the world map here, and I can't find a darn thing that appeals to the outlaws. I can find things that appeal to literally everyone else. What about you, Lorn Yornvale? Nope, not so much there either. How about this one? Uh, where is your recipe? There it is. Nope, that's the distress. That's bread and cheese. That's actually really easy. I generally have bread on on hand. I just have to get cheese. So no real luck there with the outlaws. Um, I'm not finding anything that's going to appeal specifically to them. I'm going to have to build my rep with some of these other towns and unlock some more areas here, which we won't be able to do right now. We're a little shy on the old scrolls up there. But I did see one over here at the Untermarchian Bank that is pretty easy to put together. Herbal soup, water we of course always have, often pre prepared to protect the household from Maribot, a winged fiend sent to kidnap children. And since it kidnaps only misbehaving kids, no dinner for you is a most terrifying thing to hear. So that's water, got that, and greens, fairly easy to come across those, and I believe that's herbs. So I could probably put that together pretty quickly. I'm going to send Bjorn. This is 200 Gruden that I really don't want to spend, but the commenter is indeed right. We've got to we got to beef up our menu a little bit. And this seems to be very generic. This doesn't specifically appeal to one group or the other. So my thought is maybe everyone will like herbal soup or maybe everyone will hate herbal soup. I don't know, but Bjorn, off you pop and go get some herbal soup. Now I'm going to need greens and herbs and I already know that I need apples. So apples are kind of tough to come by. It looks like there's some down in this area. So I'm just going to kind of bounce around. Maybe incredible farmers might have it. Let me put together a small-ish order, knowing that we're also a little bit low on the old cider down here too, I see. Let me see what I can do with an order around here. I still haven't done the order yet, but I was going over to do Trawl, and obviously we haven't built up our rep with them through the use of scrolls, but I am only just now noticing we are starting to build rep with them. So I would presume, I'm sure I will be um, told in the comments exactly how this works, and please do, 
But as our patrons are coming in and out and saying, yeah, that Mulligan place, that's a pretty okay place to go and really just sort of have a drink and some very basic food. And now we want to use the toilet and they've pretty much got that covered. As people come in and out of the inn, we are slowly building rep with Dutrol. We're up to 3%. Now, obviously that's not as fast as just spending the scrolls, but it is good to know that we will gradually build rep with these places. I'd never seen that before. I'm sure everyone else in the comments is saying, yeah, no kidding, dude. How did you not know that? But I didn't know that. Okay, back to the ordering nonsense. Well, I'm gonna have to do this between two orders because greens are very hard to come by in the area. So the armless man has greens. They're a little inflated on the old price, but he's got them. And then I think I can get everything else from either Incredible Farmers or the Shadow Monastery. So I'm just going to do a tiny order here. I may as well grab some sausage because his price on sausage is actually pretty good. That's 321 Gulden that I didn't want to spend in a different place. I would rather have got this all from Incredible Farmers or Shadow Monastery because I've got the scrolls to haggle, but I don't want to take off just... 32 Gulden off of this order. So go ahead and send that along, please. Now, Incredible Farmers and or Shadow Monastery should have everything else I need. I think I was looking at Incredible Farmers because their prices were not completely terrible. So I've got the greens over there. These guys had herbs. Yeah, a little bit discounted on the herbs. I'll take those. So give me, I don't know, two of those. Let's just stock up a little bit here. I know I needed cider. Their price is outrageous right now absolutely outrageous but i definitely needed apples and their prices are fine on that if the apple juice is doing so well who knew that owning a bar and primarily dealing in apple juice was the way to go then great i'll get some extra apples let's get some bread because we always need bread that's just a well it is in fact a staple it's a staple of you know human existence and and how we've evolved as a species and we were really into bread anyway so lots of bread and then what else do i really need here because i'd like to get my full order of 10 things yeah i just threw on some mugs and plates because incredible farmers prices are pretty good on them and it's not like we're never going to use them we're always going to need mugs and plates i will take the haggle on that and knock that down 10 percent that's a big old order that's all my money that's all my money right there. Um, actually, now that I say that out loud, it's going to cost me 200 gulden to get that recipe, which I'm not going to have if I place this order. So back that off a little bit, please. Get rid of the cider. I'll have to get cider from somebody else. We're going to have to get rid of the wine. Oh, I need, I need the Gouldens, please. Yeah, 487. I just have to make sure that I have enough left over to get the recipe. Otherwise, I'm going to have to send him out again. And this was all for nothing. Right, my cook finally showed up at that spot over there to learn herbal soup. And I can't afford it, just barely. But yes, I will pay to learn the recipe. Head on back. Let's go ahead and add that to the menu. That was herbal soup right there. Now, what are you saying I'm out of? Greens? Oh, no, it just showed up. Fantastic. It actually just showed up. Wait, no, no, it didn't. Where are my greens? Did I get ripped off? Did I get mugged? Because I definitely ordered greens. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I didn't. That sounds like something I would have done. I see the turnips are coming along nicely. That's good. I have nothing that requires turnips, but the turnips are coming along nicely. It's the only thing we know how to grow. And the beehive is working along here, making wax. It could theoretically make honey, but I don't have anything that requires honey. I could put the roasted nuts on the menu. Well, I really kind of need another beehive for that. I do want to get a second beehive. One for producing honey, one for producing wax. So, all right, you know what? Just leave everything as is. Let me pin down the greens problem first. I feel either we've been mugged or I have just completely spaced out and not ordered greens like I said I was going to. Probably the second one is the most likely. Nope, never mind. As I was saying that, they literally just showed up. Okay, so Stig is on the case as usual. Star employee can't run the place without him. He is already loading the greens into storage. I kind of need another storage shelf sooner rather than later. Storage is getting pretty full around here. We do have a lot of things on the menu. Is anyone actually using the storage box? 
at all. No. Okay, so they do have this available, and that will hold some things. It will not hold everything, but it will hold some of the things that we have, like bread and candles. All of that could be put in there if people wanted to do that. Right now, I should have, where did it go? Where's my herbal soup or whatever the heck it was called? Where'd it go? Herbal soup. Yes, we have everything we need for that. And people are meh at 58. Okay. I have no idea if this will help us or not, but it's one more thing on the menu with relatively easy to deal with ingredients. And that's kind of what I'm looking for. What else could we theoretically put on the menu right now that we just don't have on yet? The onion soup, uh, cheese and onions, right? That's kind of onion soup all day. And wine. Oh dear, that's going to be fussy. Speaking of wine, how's our cider ticking down? I'm going to need to order that at some point. There's the roasted nuts. Honey and nuts, very easy to put together if I had a second beehive that produced honey. Remind me, Crossroads in how much the beehives actually are. So what is that, an outside thing? Yeah, 550 I could get the, the basic one, but I kind of don't want to. I'd rather spend the extra 250 gulden and get the good one because that's durable and it's, it's just going to be better all around it's faster so we'll produce honey better 550 no no whoa 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 this is how i ended up with a beehive the last time i accidentally ordered it no get out of that get out of that i would like a second beehive i think i'm gonna save up a little bit more gurdens that's my plan. What are you flashing at? Are you just telling me that we've learned a new recipe? You don't like the food. You like the low prices. You don't like the service. You don't like the service. The inn is really clean. That is good. Mostly the service. Anyone new in the hiring pool? Is there anyone new coming in? Not really. We've seen all of these people before. Yeah, Haida, you're sickly and you have a bunch of traits I don't know about and I don't want to spend the five scrolls to learn because I'd rather use that to boost our rep with some of the outlying areas. Not so much on anything else. No, just the regulars. We've seen all you guys before. You need to um, stop applying for the job. You're not getting hired. Right. 868 on the old Gruden counter. Am I going to blow it on another beehive? A short answer, no, because I'm going to need things soon. I see wax is ticking down aggressively. Now, the bees are making wax, but they're not done with it yet. And I'm going to need it sooner than that. Cider is ticking down aggressively. How are the rest of our stocks? Uh, oh, moonshine, that's, that's creeping down. And that is the one thing we've got on the menu that the outlaws like. I should keep that. So moonshine, fat, and cider are my primary issues right at this exact second. And I wouldn't mind hiring another town crier to get some more butts on seats here. Oh, I need more Gurdens. Right, so I just spent a bunch of Gurdens ordering the things that I need there. I, I don't know if I regret putting Moonshine on the menu. I don't, but it is a very, very expensive beverage to order. I'm sure if we put all of our little production things together, I'm sure we can probably make moonshine at some point, but we're a long way off from that. We're a long way off. That comes up in the comments often like, hey, you know you could just make that, right? Yeah, eventually we can make that, but there's a lot of production that we need to tick off here, and I have exactly zero upgrade points yet. While I'm here, what's the next thing that people want? At 14, they're going to want to smoke and rent a bed. Hopefully not at the same time, guys. Don't don't smoke in bed. That's a really, really bad idea. You could start a fire doing that. So please don't do that at exactly the same time, but that's going to be the next thing. They're going to want to smoke and rent a bed. Well, the smoking is fairly easy to deal with. Just go ahead and do that. This is not a non-smoking establishment, by the way. This is an old school tavern. You are totally allowed to smoke in here. And then when they want to rent a bed, we can put the staff room back to being a guest room. Somebody had also mentioned maybe putting one of the chandeliers in the staff room 
to kind of perk the place up a little bit and maybe that might make the staff happier. Definitely think about that. The chandeliers chandeliers are not inexpensive. So we're kind of, boy, we really need some gurudins. We super, super need some gurudins around here. Is it time for a loan? I really don't want to do a loan. We all know that is the slippery slope of the entire channel is loans in tycoon games because I'm real good about taking them, not as good about paying them back per se. But boy, could I perk the place up a little bit if I did that. Oh, get a town crier, blow out the walls here a little bit, make some more space for some more tables, do a big order. I'd need some more storage if I went down that road. Mostly just talking to myself at the moment. Gonna let some Gouldens tick in. Oh, my employee leveled up. Who are you? What's your deal? Brunhild. Great. Do I do anything about that, Brunhild? I can't seem to upgrade you. So, no, I guess just add a boy for Brunhild. Good job, Brunhild. I do see a lot of people come out and check out the banners. Like you, what, what's your problem? Helma, you're pretty happy and you came out and just like looked at the banner and went, hmm, and then went back inside. Hopefully that means you're a little happier about life in general. You do seem to be pretty happy and you only want booze. I can totally handle that. And then you had a thing about poor service. Anybody new in the old hiring pool here? Anybody new applying for a job? Nope. Still Haida, still Tulia, who is a drunk and dull... I really need a refresh on the hiring pool. Oh, Carmen. Carmen just showed up. Hi, Carmen. You you just popped in. You noticed I was having a job fair, and you just popped your head in the door. What's your deal? You're greedy. Okay, I'll learn to cope. Lawful. Oh, we may or may not break the law. Sly. Right on. And you're a smoker. All right, those aren't the absolute worst traits I've ever seen. There's a lot worse. You're not actively an alcoholic, which pretty much everyone else here is. I need better service. You're relatively inexpensive in the grand scheme of things. If better service means more fame points, then Carmen, you're in. You're in. And uh, come, 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 come to me, Carmen. Just come talk to me a little bit here. Let's uh, bounce you around a little bit. Why don't you mostly wait tables and maybe inkeeping? Preparing drinks and snacks. Yeah, why don't you do that too? Why don't you focus on that and less so on everything else because hopefully the drudges are dealing with that nonsense. Ah, oh, I see the beehive is full circle here. Are we going to get wax? Please say yes. And it looks like somebody may need to go get the turnips out of the ground. For what reason, I don't know. But, you know, go ahead and get those turnips. Ah, and indeed, we did. Bruno here went and got the turnips out of the ground. Well, I guess. Plant more turnips? I mean, why not? Water them? We don't actually have any fertilizer, so don't bother with that. But yeah, I guess have more turnips. At some point, we'll have something with turnips on the menu. And boy, will we have a lot of turnips. Because we got turnips for getting turnips. For putting the garden down. We got 10 high-quality turnips. And now we've got even more turnips. We're, we're a little turnip heavy. Is there some sort of alcohol that we can create from turnips? I don't know. Don't you make vodka out of potatoes or something? There's got to be something we can get out of a root vegetable like turnips. Please let me know in the comments. Somebody go Google that. What alcohol can you make from turnips? And can I make it in this game? Because I've got some really high quality turnips. Well, I've got the scrolls, and we're going to need to get out in the world anyway. So I'm going to take five scrolls and increase my influence with Meliburg over here. So, yes, ouch, that really hurt for the scrolls. Right, five scrolls in, we can do a trade route with you. Um, no, not Gilligore, Melberg. Uh, give me trade, what's that going to cost me? 48 green scrolls. Wow, that's a lot of green scrolls. And your big thing is cabbages. Okay. Are you interested in trading cabbages for turnips? Because I like them both about the same, if I'm honest. Or 1,200 guldens, which I technically have, but I've, I've got to be getting in the in the realm where I need to do an order. That goes without saying. I've, I've got to be running out of something. Yeah, I'm out of cider. Or lager. That's lager. 
Okay, well, you know what? While I'm here, while I'm out in the world, I was looking for more decoratives. But while I'm out in the world, uh, your price on Logger is a little bit ridiculous. Shadow Monastery. Hang on, turn off the decoratives so I can see what I'm doing here. How's your price on Logger? Very good. Very, very good, actually. That's a good... I'll take that. You know what? I will take four Loggers. What else might I be out of at this point in time? Fried eggs. Oh, I'm out of fat again. Do you have fat? Yeah, you do. It's a little tiny bit overpriced. Uh, I'll take one for just for now, and then I'll maybe find somewhere else later to get it. Anything else that I'm out of? Uh, yeah, lager, I know about that. Thank you. Garlic bread, we're good. How's my just sort of general stock here? How is the garlic? The garlic is actually a little bit low, and you have garlic... And it's one gulden cheaper than the average price. Fine, give me one of those. Oh, what else might I possibly need in the reasonably near future? Yeah, 15 turnips. 10 of those are high quality turnips. Five of them are not. Choose wisely. Wait, do I have... Am I gaining... Oh, it's wax. Never mind. I don't need... Oh, I always, always, always confuse wax and, and fat. I never will get this right. You can watch Crossroads Inn on the wee hours for the rest of your natural life. I will continually confuse wax and fat. Two different things, Dave. All right, so I actually need... Oh, did I just... I just took off the fat. No, I want that, and I actually want another one, please. Thank you. It's wax that I'm generating from the bees, not fat. Bees are not fat. They're known for that. They're, they do a lot of cardio all day. Well, that's a bunch of Gruden's out the door now, isn't it? I've got, you know, a bunch of lager, some moonshine, because again, it is the only thing we have right now that appeals to the outlaws, so we may as well make sure we have it in stock. Boy, that is pricey to order, though. That is very, very expensive. I mean, it's great that we've got it, but darn, that's a hit on the old Gruden's every time we're running out of that. What I wanted to do is get back to the old world map here and see if I can find some new decoratives to unlock and perk this place up a little bit. Right, Stig, go out and learn how sacks work. Just, they're, they're just sacks of no particular product. They're just bags. Go out and learn how they work. I just genuinely really want to see their traits. I want to find out if there's any value in putting those down. Uh, now, this banner over here in Melleburg. Melleburg? Melleburg. Right, okay, skip that. Um, what? Oh, are you a rug? I don't have enough influence with Plowvin. That is fussy. Oh, it's going to take me a while to get up there, too. I really want that rug. Can, can I just learn how a rug works, Plowvin? I have a dartboard. I don't feel we need a second one. How about this banner? Which banner is this? Sambrian Banner 2. Oh, that's a wall banner, though. Yeah, and those banners tend to be on the cheap side. A lot of bang for your buck. Stig, while you're out and about, go learn how that one works, too. Now, unfortunately, Stig is going to walk all the way to the first one, then come back and tell me about it, and then walk all the way to the next one, then come back and tell me about that, rather than making, you know, a big round trip. But off you go, Stig. Stig, you are amazing. At level three, you should be GM of this place, no question. I should probably learn what your other trait is at some point. You are technically a slacker. I... No, for a fact, Stig, that is not true. That is not true. They can say that about you, but I know the truth, Stig. You are no slacker. Well, Stig has checked in from his world tour and has told me how bags work. Um, what, what exactly does that entail? Stig, talk to me about this. Where, where are they, first of all? Why are they not in decoratives? Okay, let's, let's see. Oh, right. I forgot I got that marble table. And it's not even crazy expensive. And it's uh, obviously, it's fancy. It's a marble table. And it's tidy. It's not actually as fancy as I thought. What about sacks? Talk to me about sacks. Sacks have no trait. And they're, okay, okay. Somebody explain this to me. How are sacks, bags, containers of some sort of cloth, how are they more expensive than a marble table? How does that work? I don't know. What's that? Oh, the podium. That's for the bards. We don't really need that right now. Uh, we are unlocking some other things. I would assume as we're leveling up, some things might be popping open here. Anything 
relatively inexpensive. I'd like him to get back with that wall banner because I've been making some plans. But now that I remind myself that I have a marble table, do people actually sit at this or does this just sort of exist? I don't know. It's only 250 though. Okay, I've got a bit of a plan, and I was redecorating in anticipation of the plan, so I've just temporarily moved a bunch of things that were on the wall into that area. I would like Main Hall to be slightly bigger. Thank you very much. Get out of that and get out of that. Um, and then, well, now that I've got the marble table that I totally forgot that I went out and got, I may as well have it. I may as well put it down and... I don't know, see if somebody wants to sit there. It's a little fancy for the distressed. I don't know why the peasants get to sit at a marble table. Maybe the outlaws will dig it, but one way or another, I'm, I'm putting down a marble table. So if I were to put that, say, I don't know, how about, well, I mean, anywhere. Anywhere is fine, but I'm trying to make it look halfway decent. If I put that there, and then I put up, I, I have no money. I can't possibly be putting up a marble table. I have no money. Can people, yeah, it doesn't look like people can actually sit here. I don't think they can. Do let me know, of course, in the comments if people can sit at the marble table, but I'm seeing a chair that doesn't really work compared to when I put it in other places. It sort of kind of snaps into place. And I don't think I want to spend a hundred good in finding out. Does that just sort of sit there? I don't suppose I can put one of those skull things on it, can I? No, it kind of bums me out that those can't sit on a table or anywhere else. All right, well, I don't know how much I love the marble table now. We'll see. Maybe I should just put a chair down and find out. You know what? Just let me know in the comments if people can actually sit at the marble table or if it's just purely decorative. Because I don't feel that chair was snapping into place the way I would expect it to. Okay, we once again have no money. And, and you, you're cleaning the table, Bruno. Good job. It, it actually stays relatively tidy, but good job anyway. Now, I should put all my stuff back, too, because I probably just reduced the value of the main hall by moving all those things. So shields and all of this stuff. Uh, let's do... I'm going to move stuff around here. Hang on. That can live there, and I want the other shield on the other side of the torch now. I will definitely blow this wall out at some point, but not today, basically. Let me just Adrian Monk that where I want it. Right about there. Okay, cool. Right, so the place is as fancy as it used to be. I don't suppose the marble table has bumped up our star rating, has it? Where's my services window? Oh, it actually did. Wow, all right, good job, Marble Table. You got us a half star out of that. We now have a very, very mediocre main hall. Solid two stars on the main hall there, but hey, we, we've got a Marble Table. I don't like it sitting there. I'm going to totally move that around at some point. That's just not meeting my aesthetic requirements. Oh, but I didn't even notice we ticked up a fame point. Didn't even see that happen. All right, well, get me to my upgrades super quickly. What can I do with one fame point? Not a lot. I can do one thing, really. Uh, that's, that's, that's kind of how numbers work. One equals one. Is there anything I can get in the garden that would benefit me? Potatoes, not really. I need to get over to here for garlic. Unlocking gambling won't do anything for me right now. Is there any... I can't even get a new group unlocked. I mean, I'd, I'd like to get down to the travelers, and I really should just knuckle down and do that i just i didn't want to spend an upgrade point on things that i'm not going to have right away like beans and tomatoes and grapes and the trellis itself these are all things i'm just not going to use in the immediate future but if it gets me to the travelers that's probably a good thing right there's all sorts of good things i do want chickens but i need cereal for that which is fine, but we, we have things that have eggs. Having chickens would be very handy. Okay, I'm just kind of floffing around here. That's not a real word, by the way. I just made that up. Um, but I'm just kind of floffing around doing nothing, waiting to get to the travelers. All right, you know what? I will have, I, I guess, grapes. There we go. We're, we're having grapes that we can't use. Great. Finally, next time I can get to the travelers. Unlock a new group. Who are you? Better quality workers. Oh, that's super good, too. 
it sucks that I had to take grapes to get there, but that's really good. And unlocks cabbages. That's not so good. That's actually terrible. Nobody should have cabbages. A brewery. All right, so we are ale production, cider production, mead production. There's some alcohol that we can create. No moonshine, though. No moonshine. What's this one? Guests are more patient. That would be very handy. Okay, I think I definitely want to take the next few upgrade points and move in this direction. Better quality workers would be fantastic. Cabbages, I probably am not going to go ahead and do. And then we can get into maybe making some booze. Right, back to work, everyone. Back to work. And while I'm waiting for Stig to figure out how that other banner works, I'm going to put down Candle Skull 2 which sounds like a great band name. Hello Chicago, we are Candle Skull 2. It's cheap, it's a little bit fancy, it's only one arrow fancy, but it's cheap and it'll kind of just get the job done. I moved the, the marble table over into the corner, which makes so much sense, it looks so much better over there. And Candle Skull 2 can live right next to it. So gradually, slowly getting the quality of our you know decoratives up a little bit, getting the place a little bit fancier. I do want Stig to get back with the banner thing, because those banners really are, do seem to be a lot of bang for your buck. Stig, where are you? There you are. Okay, I think you're on your way back. Have you have you learned how banners work? Uh, doodly 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 do. Don't have enough candles. Are you kidding me? Are we out of candles? I had tons of candles. I've got 65 candles. What are you talking about? I don't have enough candles. I got 65 candles. Game. Don't talk to me about candles. Fat for the torches. That is probably not true. Actually, I have fat. All right. These may be. This might be old information. No, there's sacks. There's sacks right there. Huh. Weird. All right, well, Stig has not reported in on the whole banner issue, so um, I'm largely going to wait for Stig to get back because I don't make a move around here without Stig. Stig is basically my GM. Is it time? I was going to say, is it time to put down another garden plot? Absolutely not. We can only grow turnips. However, it might be time for another table? Maybe instead of another table, maybe I just get rid of a bench and put in nicer chairs. That might be an idea, because we're not full. We don't have... Ex hey, see, you're checking out that banner, too. Stig's back! Yay! Stig's back! Hi, Stig! Wait, are you coming or going, Stig? Are you just leaving now? Oh, dear. That's fussy. You must have been on your way back from learning how sacks work. Stig, you're, you're, you're the man. So here's a question I have for the comments section. If I put down the podium now, which I just did, I didn't really want to spend that money, will that actually attract a bard? And if so, because we're not really at the level where people want music, but it would make people wicked psyched if a bard came in here. I don't know if that actually is going to work. That could have been a real waste of 350 guldens. I mean, not a waste, because I'm going to want it at some point. At some point in time, we will have bards. But I don't know if just having the podium, they'll kind of magically appear and say, Aha! You have a place for us to perform. It's Admittedly, it's it's kind of a bunch of crates with some vague degree of steps. But it's a, it's a performance stage nonetheless. We'll come and give a rousing performance in your adequately decorated tavern or are we just not at the right level to have bards at all i should really before i even had done that i should have checked the old thingamajiggy here because i bet bards is something i had to unlock i bet i'm probably not going to have bards until i unlock bards but you know what i'm gonna need that podium at some point I've, I've got it. It's not like it's going to magically disappear. So when we, if the bards come along, great. If they don't, I can move it around, put some tables, and I'll move it back later when we actually have bards. Oh, I got my little happy music while I was just sort of letting things tick along here. What did we do? Ah, big crowd. Have 500 guests. Oh, fantastic. Fame point right there. Fame point. Thank you very much. Um, what have we got? Yeah, we've still got all these ones to just gather certain foods, fulfill the needs of 10 guests in one day. We might be able to do that. Fame race to 13. We're not that far away. And that's 500 gulden. That ain't nothing. Remove the 25 objects and a task of which I have no idea what I'm doing. 
it's an empty task. I'm sure it's probably, given the nature of the task is food, it's probably learn a certain number of recipes and in return for which we'll get a random recipe. But I have no idea what that task is. I'm hoping it's just sort of going to happen. No bards have showed up yet. I don't have hope for that. I, I don't believe this was an appropriate thing to do to put down the bard stage. Uh, I go back to what I said before. I'm going to buy it at some point. I may as well have it now. Speaking of buying things, did Stig, did you ever... Oh, Stig, you... Wow. You are like a mind reader, Stig. I was just talking about you. What do you do? You walk right in. You. 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 Stig. All right, well, then I'm going to assume that you learned that banner thing. Where does that live now? Uh, is that it? Sambrian Wall Banner 2. Yeah. Tons of bang for the buck here. It's two arrows fancy, it's durable, and it's only a hundred gruden. That's great value. We are totally putting up Sambrian Wall Banner 2. Uh, where could that possibly live? I do put a lot of things on the back wall, because that's just the way I'm looking at the game, so I do like to see the things that I'm putting up. But maybe we put it somewhere else. How about we put it over here, because I'm not going to blow out this wall. So it may as well live over here, because it can live over here kind of permanently. Let's get that to live there. Okay, and we might even put up another one of those, and we're definitely going to send Stig out to learn more banners. I mean, that's just great. A hundred Goulden, two arrows fancy, and it's durable. That's just great. Did that, uh, I, I'm sure it didn't, but did, did that happen to do anything for our star value? No, didn't think it did. That was a lot to ask out of one banner, but there it is. So one last thing I want to do today, I want to move just temporarily until I get some more space around here. I want to move the store, uh, not the storage shelf, the, the Mr. Fix-It thingamajiggy here, the, the tool shelf. That's what I'm trying to say here. I want to move that outside just for temporary. It's not going to live there forever because I want to put up another storage shelf in here. I feel storage is going to be an issue sooner rather than later. The next thing I want to do in general is really give a good scout out on the world map and find other recipes that are ingredients we generally always have on hand or wouldn't be an extra large amount of ingredients, get those on the menu. And if we do that, we're still gonna need some new things. So storage is gonna be a premium. Now, if I put that there, is that going to be a pathing issue, Crossroads? Because it often is, isn't it? How about we did that a little bit differently? How about we move the water barrel anywhere basically but where it lives right now actually stay there let's put the box that still i don't think anyone has chosen to store anything in uh and then well the wood holder should really stay in the kitchen that's kind of where we need that the water barrel uh, that's probably a bad idea too because we need the water barrel in the kitchen how about we put the dishwasher in storage like there and then the water barrel can go, I don't know, anywhere, really, uh, right there. And then I could get another storage shelf to live over here. That's probably more planning than I really needed to do for that. And hopefully that's not going to mess with literally everyone's pathing. The dishwasher is a little farther away than I might like it at this point, because now they've kind of I know they're not going to do something simple like go through the one door. They're probably going to go through this door and through this door. I'll have to see how they path. Uh, we'll, we'll just have to keep an eye on that and see if that's a good place for that. Now, see, you, you, well, you were already on your way. You're bringing in stuff for the dishwasher, and I'm already seeing we're going to have a log jam at the door here. Yeah, that's already going to happen. We had the same problem when we had it in the kitchen. So finish that, please. We're going to move that basically anywhere else. The rat trap has produced no rats. So you can live outside. Actually, you can go live over there. You can live anywhere else. Move that in here so we're not gonna create a traffic jam at the front door of the storage area. That hopefully is all going to work, I think. I'll keep that rat cage there for right now. I wonder, I kinda wanna put down another one of those banners, but we'll get some variety in the place. We'll get Stig to go out and get some different banners ton of bang for your buck on those things. That is probably an excellent place to call it on Crossroads in for today. Again, I don't know that we've really done much. We did gain a couple of fame points. That was very, very good. We're almost at the point where people want to sleep over. 
and we can totally provide that to the detriment of our staff because I'm going to kick them all out of that room. I do like the marble table and the skull candle thing. I think this all works. This corner looks really good. And maybe, maybe putting the stage up will get a bard in here. I don't think it will. But at some point in time, some bard will come perform over there. So we'll pick up some more Crossroads in, in the Mulligan next time. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And we'll see you next time. So when I stab this guy in the neck, which I'm about to do... Don't talk about it. Just keep shtum, please. Yes. We've got peasant boy, peasant girl, a few chickens, a bridge that doesn't work, and a giant mutant alien. I think our town is off to a roaring start right now. I have a badass tattoo, six-pack abs, and a belt buckle that says aloha. This is amazing. I want to be this guy.